Good news, Sterling, we got one. I think it's the right kind even. Look at that. There we go guys. We're starting out the day with a nice eater sized walleye on the jig. Now today is going to be all about jig fishing. Now jig fishing is like the most old school, most reliable, um, you know it works everywhere. Everywhere fish eat the jig and a minnow whether that's spring, summer, fall. Uh, most of the time in the summer we might go leeches or crawlers, but the principle is the same. Jig fishing is a very essentially simple way to fish. I share the boat every day um, with guys of all different skill levels, and one thing I see is guys make a big error in how they jig. So today we're going to go through um, cadence, jig weight, uh, vertical versus casted, a whole bunch of different stuff so you can jig like a pro. Quick interruption, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video as we're gonna be giving away one of these Pissy Fun Honor XTs, the exact reel I'm using in today's video. Awesome reel, awesome quality. Stay tuned to the end for details. All right, so how do you work a jig properly on a cast? You know, that's exactly what we're doing today. If you wanna see a video on you know, location, stuff like that, um, I'll link one down in the description I did last week. But you know, we're casting jigs today. So there's two things I see guys do wrong when they're casting jigs. So, First thing, obviously, get it out there. Bait all the way down to the bottom. Easy way to tell is obviously, you know, you can see your line basically going out and then it's just gonna bow out right when it hits bottom. So once you're on bottom, first thing I see guys do wrong is some guys work a jig like this. Right? They kinda just, when well, they get the line tight and they just go like this. This is dragging a jig. If you're moving your rod that slow, that jig's not coming off the bottom. All that jig's doing is just being dragged along the bottom, which is less good. Um, you know, most of these walleyes are sitting within a couple feet of the bottom, but they're not gonna eat the jig that's just being drug across the bottom, right? Most of these, then I guess the other thing I see guys do wrong, and I'll back up so you can see the rod tip a little bit, is they do something that looks like this, right? And it's hard to tell a lot of times, you know, if it's your first time out walleye fishing, but if you're lifting your rod, I mean, that's probably a six foot stroke, right? From where my line's tight to where I end up. So that jig's coming way up and then it's going way down really fast because you're not keeping a tight line on the fall. So it's not necessarily that you wouldn't get a bite doing either of those two things, but it's definitely much less effective. So the proper way to work a jig, you get the bait out there, we're going all the way down to the bottom of the lake, as you would pretty much any time you're jig fishing. And once you're on the bottom, what you're gonna do next is much more controlled than either of those last two things we were doing. So jig's on the bottom of the lake. The way I like to jig, I like to pop my rod up like that and just hold the rod. I do nothing with the rod while that bait's falling. You can watch your line, you can just get the timing down, you can feel it hit bottom a lot of times, but I'll do it again. Pop up, holding my rod tight, watching the line until the jig's on the bottom, boom. Now that's doing a couple things. I'm only moving my rod about a foot and a half on each time. So that jig, what's happening is, because I'm doing that quicker pull, it's popping up, and because my line, I'm keeping my rod high, that jig is swinging down. It's kind of like a pendulum. It pops up and it swings down slower pops up swings down slower now a couple things you're keeping a tight line on the fall so any bite that you get most of the time you'll feel the line go and kind of pop um, and that lets you know that a fish just ate it and you open up the bale let him eat it or if you're fishing a smaller minnow you just set the hook right away pop hold the rod high wait till it hits bottom super simple now the only time I would really vary that is you know I'm fishing a very clear water lake today Fish that live in clear water like speed. They're used to speed. They're used to the bait fish seeing them before, you know, from a long ways away. And they're used to chasing a bait down from a long ways away. So a lot of times, if you just cast it out and try to do this drag thing like this, it gives that fish way too long to look at that bait, right? So I like to kind of get a little bit poppier like this, you know, kind of a quick pop. Or sometimes I'll do this kind of double pop like this and hold my rod high. The whole holding your rod high part, that always stays the same. Um, but 
what you don't want to do is give that fish way too long to look at your bait without the bait moving. So I'll see a lot of guys that have jigs on the bottom and they just don't pick up their rod. You know, it's almost like they're waiting for it to still be on bottom. The second that jig hits bottom, you just pop it up again. A fish most of the time is not going to come just grab your jig off the bottom. So you always want to keep that jig moving. Jig's a great way to cover water. Um, or you know, this is even if you're on fish and just staring at them on the graph, you're not just going to want to let that jig lay there. So you know, keep it moving. Once it hits bottom, pop it. You know, sometimes in m extremely cold water and darker water, sometimes I'll do this kind of lift like this, a little bit slower up and down. But you don't want to go too slow because if you're doing something like this, all that's happening is dragging that jig along the bottom, and that's much less good um, than hopping a jig back. So. Um, those are kind of some of the finer points on basically when you're casting a jig, how you want to do it. Make sure you don't do that six foot lift and drop your rod. Make sure you're not dragging a jig and kind of do that hop. Keep the line tight on the fall and you guys are going to catch much more fish on a jig and feel a lot more bites. There's a bite. Let him take it a little bit. Fish on. Nice walleye. Keeping that line tight, felt that fish pop it right on the fall. It's kind of big to boat flip. Oh, we got it almost early, didn't we? That is what I'm talking about. So that's the biggest difference when you're keeping your line tight is that you should be able to feel those bites. So you basically don't jig into them like that. There's just a chunker of about 18, maybe 19 inch. Hayward area walleye, fat fish, we're gonna let him go. So the next one's obviously vertical fishing. Now I don't do a whole lot of straight vertical fishing and the reason for that is most time when I'm walleye fishing in deep water, which is when you would be vertical jigging, I've already found the walleyes and I know where they are. If you're vertical jigging most of the time, that's not the presentation you're using to try to find fish because vertical jigging does not cover a lot of water. You've already found the fish. So I like to, most of the time, if I find a pot of fish that's real tight and let's say 25, 30 feet of water, I don't like to go straight vertical. Most of the time I like to get a little bit off those fish and pitch out real short. And the reason I like to do that is because if you've ever seen your jig vertically jigged, it does not look as good when it goes like this as when it goes like this and moves a little bit horizontally as well. So most time I'll make a real short pitch. Now, because your bait is gonna be generally in deep water when you're fishing vertical, you don't have to do this big jig stroke, right? Because if your jig, let's say you're fishing a big five foot flat and you cast your jig way out there, it's gonna take a lot more lift of that rod to get the bait off the bottom than it would um, a bait that's straight below you just because of the angle of your line. So most time if I'm jigging deep water, I got the bait real close to me like this. I'm just kind of popping it. Quick pop, and I'm letting the bait fall. Quick pop, letting the bait fall. Quick pop, letting the bait fall. Now see how short I'm moving the rod? I'm hardly picking the rod up more than a foot. And that quick pops, popping that jig up, and it's letting it fall. I'm still doing the same thing on a tight line, but instead of just holding my rod out like I would on the cast, because obviously if you just held your rod out and held it tight while that jig was falling, it wouldn't fall back to the bottom. So I'm doing a controlled fall. Once I get to the top of my stroke, I'm just kind of letting the jig fall at the normal pace that it would, but I'm keeping a tight line while I'm doing that so I can feel any fish that pops that bait off the bottom. Just like a casted jig, what's going to happen when you're fishing vertical is you're going to feel that bite on the way down. Very rarely do they actually pick it up off the bottom of the lake. Now sometimes the bite might be really soft and you think you hit bottom before you should be on bottom and that's a fish gra obviously grabbing it on the fall. But you know, a real short cast here, and all I'm doing is pop, pop, you know, you can go up like this, it doesn't really matter too much. But it's much less movement when you're fishing vertical because it doesn't take as much of a lift to get that jig to come off bottom as it would, uh, you know, if you're casting just because the line angle is going to be much different if you're casting out a jig versus going vertical. So, got it down there going vertical. I'm right next to the bow right now. Pop, let it fall, pop, let it fall. You don't even have to reel most of the time when you're doing this very much. And same thing, you're gonna feel that bite when the jig is falling down most of the time. So, you know, those are kind of some of the finer points of going vertical. I see a lot of guys going vertical, they do the, the big Superman lift and that jig gets to the bottom of the lake. They do something that basically looks like this. And 
they want to do this big jig stroke like this and then let it drop like that. And that all basically all that's doing is bringing your jig way up and then your jig's just falling straight down, which normally is not the answer. You know, if you're going straight vertical, most of the time you're doing something like this. The other thing to remember if you're fishing vertical, like I said, your bait's around a lot of fish, right? So you don't just want to do something real, you know, mundane like this where you're just super slow-mo jigging because every fish can see that bait going up and down. You almost want to do something that, you know, gets more of a reaction when you're going vertical because most of the time you're going to be fishing right around a lot of fish. So a lot of times if you're going straight vertical, something real snappy like that, controlled fall, is definitely going to get you guys more bites. Cool when it works out like that. Yeah. Doubled up! <laughs> That's a nice fish up here. Look at that. Pretty That's awesome. <laughs> that should have that should have been a hummingbird commercial. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what do you think, Surly? Look at all those fish. So what I'm talking about when you run the side imaging while sitting still. We just caught those fish off the left and there's a whole bunch out there still. All right, time for the giveaway. Before we do the giveaway, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Pissy Fun Reels as a whole and what makes them special. So I've been using their reels now for a little over a year. Phenomenal products and crazy value at price point. This is the one you probably see in most videos is the Carbon X2000, awesome reel. I could easily see this reel in a retail store for 150, 200 bucks. That's how good it is. And what does it retail at? Online, you can find them at 70 bucks. Phenomenal product. It's basically a wholesale product. So, you know, they can cut the retailer out and you guys get phenomenal product at a crazy good cost. Now, this is another one that we're gonna be giving away. I use this in today's video. I've used it a ton on guide trips. It's been in the boat every day. And I've had it on a combo all season, everything. Bass, walleyes. This is the Pissy Fun Honor XT. And I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Now, I had to pull up the information on this because I don't know everything about it. And quite honestly, I don't care how many ball bearings or how many this or how many that. I don't care about that stuff. But it is incredibly smooth reel, good drag. It's been a tank all year long. And that's really all I care about. So I pulled it open here. Now I could easily see this reel retailing for 99, 89, somewhere right in that price point I can see it going for. This reel is online right now. I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up. This reel is online right now for 49 dollars which is a crazy good price that might not show up at all so it's got 10 ball bearings it's 6 to 1 gear ratio for 50 bucks now that's a crazy good deal on a crazy good reel so to give this away what you guys are going to do to win one of these is you have to be subscribed to pissy fun's youtube channel i'll go ahead and link that down below as well you better already be subscribed to this channel but if you're not you better be um and yeah that's as simple as it gets and i want you guys to go online even if you're not going to buy anything just go on Pissy Fun's website, check out some reels. It's crazy good value at the price. I'm just like anybody else. When they first came to me, I was super skeptical of basically buying reels that were this cheap. You know, most of the time I want quality stuff in my boat and I don't want to go the cheap route on anything because that just always comes back to bite you especially when you're fishing every day. But I've been absolutely blown away by the products Pissy Fun has uh, uh, gave me to use in the past couple seasons. Either one of these reels you guys are gonna be extremely happy with. This one right now is on sale for 50 bucks, 49.99. Crazy good deal on a crazy good reel, and we'll be giving one away. Drop a comment down below on, uh, you know, if you've used these products, they're phenomenal reels. If you're happy with them, uh, whatever you have to say, I wanna hear it. So thanks for watching, and we'll absolutely be giving one of these away.